Hello farmers, it's a beautiful morning on the 21st day of January 2021. Uh, I know we have been away for a while, actually it's almost around, I think around three or four months, but uh, we have been moving up and down and trying to build the country and uh, look for food for our children in whichever way possible. So this is quite a very beautiful day for us and that's why I've even chosen to make this video because by coincidence, being the 21st of the year 2021, Suleiman, have you seen what I've done there? Yes. So uh, we, I, at the start of the year, I took some of my, some of the cuckoo that were ready to brood. Eh? We call it brooding, eh? Kulalia mayai. And uh, I, I fed the, the eggs, a number of eggs, as you are going to see. And uh, it has chosen the best day ever. 21st of January. So this is a very good year, a very good start of the year for the Meland farm. And uh, I want to take just a sneak preview of what is happening and uh, how far the chicks are coming in. I think I've seen, I think around two, because I think they have started tonight. So join me. I hope you're going to enjoy and I hope uh, you're going to have a wonderful time. So here is our newest mother in town. Which name are you going to give her? I think I think Meland is going to <laughs> to do this for us. As you can see, I don't know whether you can see. I doubt whether you see it, but uh, you can see they have started coming out. The mother is very proud, very protective. You cannot go in there. And the 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 home, the coop is a uh, is all set, waiting for them to come. I think I'll give them around one day or two. Uh, they get acquainted with the mom. Then this time around, I'm not going to withdraw them. They're just going to just going to follow the natural method and uh, give them the food, and they stay with the mother at least for around a month. Then that's when now I leave them to be. So this is the newest mother in town. Uh, I don't want to call her Becky. Becky is Becky is one of my dogs. So. I think Kim is going to give her another name, a new name now that she's a mother. So that's all. I don't think I'll, I'll just give another another update tomorrow. And then I'll combine the videos to make them one. And uh, that's just that this is the water that she was feeding on when she was uh, brooding. Uh, Getoka, and then she takes some water and some food and then she's out. So that's her. Then we have, that's not the only only mother we, the, we have another expecting mother here and there she is can you see her maybe i'm going to light to, to do some lighting there mm, where is it? Yes. i'm going to show you there you go so that's i don't think i can call her sasha so this is sasha <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, she's she needs like a week, and this is where she has been feeding. So immediately, I hear the first chick. I'm going to withdraw this food, as I've done for the for the other one, so that I avoid the chicks from feeding from uh, food that they are not supposed to. Again, within the first day, you can remember you're supposed to give them uh, some water and some liquid paraffin, so that you can uh, create uh, you can. Uh, make the digestive system ready you just don't start giving them the food otherwise they are going to have constipation so uh see you tomorrow as i give the last preview for our newest mom in town as she is beautiful girl <laughs> i love this thing yeah okay sasa see you tomorrow so welcome to day two of our of our project here as you can see just to recap yesterday when we were starting we had two chicks now you can see we have multiplied i think i've counted up to around seven or so yes but and finally i've seen a uh, one naked neck i i love i love machinos as you all know and uh, so far so good i um, the mother is becoming agitated because the chicks are asking for food Immediately I provide the food, then uh, the chicken is going to leave 
to leave the nest, meaning that uh, any remaining uh, egg might not be, might not give us any more chicks. So I'm giving them another day, at least today. Then tomorrow morning, I'm going to remove them, and then I'm going to give them the feed that they need. So the feed is ready, as you can see. I'm taking from Fugo, uh, starter, starter mash. And uh, they can take this for the rest, for the next around four weeks. And then uh, we will introduce them to chick match. But for now, we are preparing the water. I'm going to put into the water, I'm going to put some liquid paraffin, as I'll show you tomorrow. And then as we wind up the video, that is some liquid paraffin, some uh, multivitamin and uh, iris seal, just to fight any infection. So that's that for now. See you tomorrow as we do the last part of our of our video. Bye bye. So here is the newest family in town. Kim, we could to eat again. The name of the mother. Think of her name. Yes. Are you ready? So Kim is not ready to name her yet. But you can see she has really tried. She has seven chicks. She has lost three. I think those eggs, I mean, uh, I'll let them be there for tonight. And then tomorrow morning, if I don't see any change, then I'll remove them. Here is the water. I've avoided putting the whole of it because uh, some of them might start uh, swimming into it. And uh, or the mother might kick and then soil the whole thing. But you can see I've kept the a mixture here just ready so that I can just be refilling when it is done or when it's dirty but uh, basically that's it uh, this is the journey has started oh the water we have uh, we have put uh, it's called alivisin uh -huh. that's for fighting infections we also put uh, some chicken start for multivitamins and also some liquid paraffin so that the chicks can, uh, it can help uh, build the digestion of the chicks. So I think we are all set. By the end of the week, we will administer the first uh, vaccination against Newcastle. And uh, the journey continues. After two weeks, then we can do Guboro. But that's it for us. Uh, we hope that you have enjoyed. Hope that uh, it's a good start for the year for the Melon Farm. Bye-bye. So, hello good people, here is the final chapter of what we started on the final week of January where we had our chicks being hatched and uh, we are about to finish this by showing what we have by now. So this is around 6 months time and uh, I hope uh, this will be a good experience for all of us and you see how far we have come with the chicks. So the chick that you saw that day here they are now, they are big. Uh, we have since eaten the mothers. So each of the mothers uh, had seven chicks. And as you can see here, we have 12 of them. That means we lost two along the way. That means uh, that success rate of around, what, 90% or something? So that's a good, uh, a good number. But here they are, you can remember the Moshono that I was talking about. So here there is one. And then there's another one there. Then the white ones, the black one, like a black one here, here it is. So you can see, so some of them are pure Kenyeji, others are improved, but not the best quality of, not F1 or F2. But uh, I think that's that. So that marks the end of this edition of the Melon Farm. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. They are eating well. The eggs are coming in now. And uh, we are good to go. So bye from us and God bless you. God bless the Meland farm.